So this tutorial is going to show you how to use the WD Idle 3 to change your Western Digital hard drive's firmware uh, to change the auto parking feature of the head. So if you're watching this, you probably already know what this is going to do and why you need it. Uh, in case you don't, real quick, uh, certain Western Digital green hard drives have a uh, built-in timer built into their firmware so that it parks the heads, the read heads for your hard drive after eight seconds to reduce energy. So if people are using the Western Digital green hard drives in a NAS setting where they're going to be on 24-7, this excess head parking could uh, possibly reduce the lifespan of the drive. So uh, a lot of people are using this to change this head parking and to change it to um, the max is 300 seconds which is five minutes so from eight seconds to five minutes is a, a big deal so we're going to show you how to do this so what I recommend is using the Rufus program it's free just Google search it download it runs you don't have to install it uh, I used a small thumb drive a 500 megabyte thumb drive and uh, I'm keeping it with the program on it so this way I always have it and I don't have to do this again so I kept everything as you see here except for the drop down here. I changed it from free DOS to MS DOS. I kept everything the same. Click start and then it will make your thumb drive bootable and then all you have to do is just drag the wdidle.exe program right onto the thumb drive. So I'm using the Super Micro motherboard, the X10 SLL-F, and it has that convenient USB port right on the motherboard. I assume everyone knows how to change the boot order of their of their board. Uh, what I did was I just swapped out, since my board is booting from this slot anyway, it's booting uh, FreeNAS, I just swapped USB drives this way I didn't have to change the boot order. They recommend doing this on one drive at a time, so I recommend disconnecting all of your drives and just plug in one at a time and do it when you're done just plug in the second drive it's it's really quick so and when your computer boots it will look like this it'll give you a little C prompt and what you do is just type in wdidle3.exe hit enter it's going to tell you the drive it'll give you the serial number of the drive and it will also tell you what the timer is currently set at so you can see my drive here it's set at the default setting of eight seconds there are three commands that you would need to use the forward slash r reports the current factory default setting and then forward slash s and the number value will change it to whatever you decide 300 is the max which is five minutes you can do 200 100 whatever and then forward slash D turns the timer off so that the heads won't park. There are some people reporting that the, dri the drives crawl to a halt after a while and stuff. So some people don't recommend doing that. It's up to you. My FreeNAS machine is being used to store media, um, which are videos. So I chose to do the max, which is 300 seconds, which is five minutes. So you just punch in wdidle3.exe space forward slash s and the number that you want. I chose 300, hit enter, and it will tell you that it pretty much went through and that the timer is currently set to the value that you chose. That's it. Control alt delete to restart and just uh, swap your drives. It's this way you can do it on the next drive and it's as easy as that. Thanks for watching.